to our DJ Screen instructional video on how to properly set up your DJ Screen truss. Upon opening your box, these are the items you will find. You will find several of these T-bar rounded clips. You will find handheld knobs, as well as all the bolts necessary in order to complete the assembly of your truss. You will find two of these bars that will extend up from these stands, which will allow you to complete the assembly of your top bar. You will also have the stands included, as well as the top bars. All that's needed in order to complete the assembly of the truss. First thing you need to do is locate four of these rounded T-clips and assemble them onto your single bars, which are going to be used to attach your top truss bars. What you need to do is make sure that you leave the holes at the bottom of the pole and attach them on the side that does not contain the holes. In order to know the proper distance between the two, you will grab the top truss bar and that will give you the exact measurement of how it needs to be placed. As an added security feature, you may also drill a hole in the middle of each T-clip going all the way through the other side of the bar and insert a screw here that will remain permanently. This will avoid the T-clip moving side to side swivel or moving up and down and every time you install your truss it will always remain at the same place. Now in order to complete the assembly of your truss you will need to assemble the top part of the truss. The top part of the, the, the truss you will see will be different from side to side. One side has a straight weld, the other one only a diagonal weld. You need to grab the side with the diagonal weld as the straight weld corresponds to the end of the truss. So once you've recognized the side, you will grab two of the round T-clips, insert them halfway through, which means this section here stops right in the center of your T-clip. Insert one of the bolts with the Allen key, tighten it. You will also need to tighten the part here in the center, as well as insert the small short black piece that will join the two together. Once that is completed, we recommend you put in your side joints, which has one on the left, one on the right, which corresponds to top and bottom. You will also have a bolt that you will permanently insert, and this will be your setup for, it, for transportation. Once the middle piece is completely assembled and your joint is ready, you can now transport your truss, and when you arrive, somewhere in order to set it up. Once again, you locate the diagonal side, not the straight side. Insert your diagonal joint. Once it's inserted, we recommend you use the handheld bolts. We'll make it much easier for installation. You can install the top part as well as the bottom part. Once it's completely assembled, then it's ready to be installed on the stands. Now comes time to install your stands. All you need to do, install your stands. What we recommend to obtain mass, maximum height is to bring up these pieces. That will ensure you obtain your maximum height. And then secure it, just like a typical stand. Now all you need to do is insert your top bar, right into the stand and it's ready to welcome your truss bar. What you will need to secure the truss bar are these other handheld bolts which insert right here. And simply repeat the steps for the next side. And now your truss is almost complete. All you need to do is attach the top part onto your stands. Tighten the bolts, there is no need to over tighten, simply enough for it to hold. Now typically before lifting your truss you would need to attach the screen but for the purpose of the demonstration we are simply going to lift the screen and show you the final result. You can tighten to get a good solid grip prevent movement 